Hey guys, welcome to the Distinct Academy. My name is Pramod and in this video, we are going to learn about the difference between verification and validation. As a software QA or a tester, we should know the major difference between these two concepts, right? So I'm going to show you with the example. So let's get started. All right. Okay. So uh, before we start, guys, I would like to uh, give you a point where uh, if you go to the playlist section, you can learn more about the REST API testing, Snow and Sanity testing video, as well as in the event top website as a QA that you must visit, right? These are the two, three important videos of this uh, that I would like to, uh, uh, I would like you to watch because I want you to get, get uh, become a, ex, uh, can increase your expertise as software tester, right? All right. So let's start with a, uh, let's start with what, what is verification, right? So let me explain, expand this one. So first of all, verification is like a process of checking a software. Basically, uh, we are checking that uh, if the software achieves its goal without any bugs, right? So in a simplest way, let me highlight this one. Uh, that uh, basically in verification part, we are just uh, checking that if are we building the right product, right? If we are building the product right, is different. So are we building the product? Are we building the product right? That is what we are checking in the verification, right? So uh, what are the we basically how we are checking the verification, right? We are checking with documents, design codes, and programs, right? And uh, verification is a static testing process, right? So uh, how you can check it out, right? Means how do we verify these things? We can verify with requirement traceability matrix, right? We can have certain test cases. We can have test scenarios which can verify these things, uh, which is the primary question of that, which is are we building the right product or not, right? So uh, if you watch these tutorials like test scenario versus test cases and requirement traceability matrix where I explain in depth about these concepts, okay? So let's come back to it. So uh, in verification, it doesn't involve any kind of execution of your code, right? And what are the major advantage of verification is that it can find the bugs early in the development cycle, right? So that is what, that is most important one, right? So if we find bugs in early environment, it basically means that uh, we'll have a less cost, right? And who does it? So verification is like, who does this verification? So generally QA team does the verification if you talk about in its CLC, right? And they just make sure that the say, software which is created or initial build that is created, it is as per the requirements, right? <clears throat> One more thing is that uh, it comes before the validation part. So first verification is there, then validation is there, right? I'm going to give you very simple examples like uh, these documents, for example, divine, design review by dev team and test plan with the QA team, right? Code review and code inspection, right? These kinds of verification things that can be done by different, uh, different types of uh, teams, right? Uh, most of the time, if we talk about in STLC lifestyle, which is software testing life cycles, QA does the verification by using the requirement receipt metrics and test cases and test maps, right? I hope you get the point about the verification, right? Now let's come to the validation part. So it is the simplest one. So uh, if we just tweak the question, which is, are we building the right product? That is what we are checking in the validation. It is basically process of checking whether the software product is, which is already made is up to the mark or not. So again, it's a kind of a dynamic testing and it's a, it is uh, in a very simple manner. We were just checking that what is the actual result with the expected result that is there, right? And uh, in this, what will happen is that we do activities like black book testing, unit testing, integration testing, these kind of testing that we do to validate this product. Right, and uh, the motive here, or you can say the single goal is that are we are building the right product. That is what we want to make sure that it involves the execution of the code. So we are executing the code, executing the build, checking the software, 
right and it comes after the verification so first step is verification then validation i hope it is very clear now right so let's come to the very interesting part which is like what is the major difference right so i have taken up this uh, example from one of the website which i believe it's a very uh, good one i am going to put the description uh, basically link to that website if you want to read further i'll give you a real example right suppose you are ordering a food right and if you ordered a food so verification is like look how the foods look like for example if you have order uh, any kind of a hamburger right so if you are very uh, verification is something like when you haven't touched the burger but you are just looking into it that it looks like a burger right it has this uh, patty something like this and there's a burger part of it there's a bread part of it right sauce is there present or not so that is the verification part and validation is when you just eat it and it look and after eating it you just validate it okay it's a burger or not right and it's according to up to the mark or not right that is what validation so in a simplest manner i can explain right so if you want to read further with the verification validation i can expand right uh, so again the same thing that i have already mentioned that uh, if we do verification it means that are we building the product right it is verification if we tweak it with the are we building the right product it's validation right and here in verification we are not executing the software or the build whereas in uh, if we talk about validation we are executing the software right and it involves static testing techniques right and it it basically involves the dynamic testing most of the testing that you do as a software qa tester right they uh, they come under the validation part right and if you do code reviews inspection walkthroughs peer review these kind of things most of the time comes under the uh, verification part all right that makes sense right i hope uh, let's come to the questions right so uh, the one of the question that is is that is uat is a validation or verification it's a validation part because in uat customer is basically using the product and basically verifying uh, basically validating it right it's up to the mark one that is what validation means right and if if i zoom this diagram again it's a very wonderful diagram which is shared by one of the website i'm going to put the link description in the link description i mean to say verification uh, uh, again these kind of unit testing integration automation testing regression testing and on customer reception it falls under the validation part and the left hand side falls under the uh, this side falls under the verification part of it okay i hope that makes sense right so uh, let's take another another example right in terms of a practical suppose we have a login form right and in the verification for uh, verification phase what we do is that we basically check with the look and feel of this form okay username uh, user field is there or not password field is there or not right uh, there is a button of submit or not right we are checking with spelling mistake we are just checking the correctness with the document or requirement right but in validation phase we are using it right we will basically check with the if the button is working or not if it is performs the submission or not all the value or validation data extra are passing it or not right these are the things that we are validating in this uh, uh, is in this uh, validation phase okay so i hope you are clear with this uh, with the example okay all right so that's all about it in this video i hope you have learned uh, something about it and uh, if you are means uh, if you have already known this concept uh, probably you have just uh, revised what is going on with verification validations right uh, thanks a lot for watching till now and let's uh, let's meet on the next video all right thanks a lot for watching and have a nice day bye